Robert Noyce, an enthusiastic scientist and renowned businessman, also known as the mayor of Silicon Valley, was born and raised in Iowa. Noyce attended Grinnell College and obtained his Ph.D. from MIT. In 1956, he was recruited by William Shockley, a co-inventor of the transistor, to move to California and work at Shockley Semiconductor. Noyce worked at Shockley Semiconductor until he left a year later and formed Fairchild Semiconductor, with seven other scientists. After being frustrated with the politics of his job, Noyce decided to co-found Intel with a fellow scientist, Gordon Moore. Intel soon developed into one of the nation's biggest tech companies. This was partly because of Noyce's great leadership and management style. Bob's intelligence and accomplishments are evident, but what made him such a likable person was how he interacted with others. One of Noyce's main principles in his managerial style was to encourage everyone by not shutting down anyone's ideas. Noyce had learned the hard way. While working at Shockley Semiconductor, when he presented one of his ideas to Shockley on the tunnel dialogue, Shockley denounced the idea and ordered Noyce to get back to his original research on the transistors. Bob was discouraged by Shockley's reaction. To make matters worse, exactly 17 months after Bob had halted his research on the tunnel diode, a Japanese physicist was awarded the Nobel Prize for the same research that Bob had conducted. This taught Noyce that ideas are very important. From then on, Noyce never denounced anyone's ideas. Instead, he encouraged employees to take direction as they pleased. Noyce enforced a very relaxed culture at Intel, which he brought over from his days at Fairchild Semiconductor. He treated his employees like family and considered everyone equal. He was very humble and approachable. Noyce shunned fancy corporate cars, reserved parking spots, bigger offices, and private jets. He favored a less structured, relaxed working environment in which everyone contributed and received no lavish benefits. He would listen attentively, give advice, and show everyone that they were an important part of Intel. I'm going to uh, start a company and see it grow and develop uh, a different kind of company around a different way of doing things, which is looking at human worth rather than the usual autocratic uh, organization of the company. I think there is a new management style evolving now, which is paying much more attention to the needs of all employees, not just the select few at the top. Noyce's informal business style was one of the main factors that raised Intel into a global technology powerhouse. He convinced others that impossible ideas were doable and changed dreams into products that the world could use in everyday devices.